Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we're going to talk about the various ways that you can utilize a pulley. Uh, you can use a pulley in your double rope systems and your, also your lanyard. Um, so here, I've created um, an old-fashioned double rope setup. Um, the rope goes up over a limb or through a friction saber down to the climber where a clove hitch is made. Um, a, a bowline can also be tied here um, and then it's gone up and created a friction hitch, a Blake's hitch around itself. So with this typically you know you would do something like hip thrusting um, or use a foot ascender on this end of the rope to pull down. This will bring the climber up, who's connected here, and then the climber will manually advance this friction hitch to, you know, capture their progress. And then they're up, you know, a little higher, repeat, go over, advance, so on and so forth until they're, they've reached the top. Um, to descend, just pull on the top of the hitch and you're down. Now, a more efficient way to do this would be to use a pulley to manually, well, to automatically advance this hitch for you every time you pull on this rope. So the way you would do that is you would take a small bit of accessory cord and oops, make a, t a tiny prusik one more time. Okay. So, this knot's kind of in the way, but we got it. All right, so we have this small prusik here, and we will now attach this pulley here. You could also, you can use this type of pulley, uh, or I'll show you another type of pulley that you can use. Place it right below the um, hitch, and then using an accessory carabiner, you connect to the pulley. Now, every time the climber Oh, first, you want to make sure this is up as high as it can go. So now every time the climber pulls on this end, it will automatically advance everything for the climber. So this is a pretty great system. Uh, it makes it half as difficult to get up using this technique. And then if you want to descend, you just take this and you pull it down low, get the pulley out of the way, and then just like you would normally, just send down the rope by pulling down the top of the hitch. So this is a great method. Um, now I was talking about the other type of pulley you can use. Um, because of how this other type of pulley is made. I can't use an accessory carabiner, but I can still use um, this accessory cord because this is not life support. This is this is nothing to do with life support, so that's why it's it can be used, you know, with accessory materials. Uh, but you can also attach um, for this type of pulley. 
you can attach an actual carabiner. This is a Perfect O, the MM Perfect O. It's much, uh, well, it's much smaller than a regular carabiner. So it's great for this purpose. So once again, you know, you have this pulley, you would advance this as high as it can go. And then anytime you pull on send, it'll advance everything for you. Pull it down way, then you can descend. So this is a great little system. Now, what else can we do with pulleys? Well, um, another thing that we can do is we can use it on our lanyards. So here is a lanyard and we can imagine that it's around a um, around a branch and normally we would if we were doing you know work positioning we would have um, one end attached to one D ring and another attached to you know the other D ring and as far as you know doing I'll try and show you on this side as far as doing slack tending is concerned this is this is almost impossible to do you know you can do it you can go down and you know um, but it's really you'd have to really grab the hitch and advance it like that and it's just a pain in the ass um, so it's really useful to have something like a hitch climber pulley which is a three it has three connection points and it opens like this so you can easily attach it to a rope so now what we can do with this hitch is now connect the hitch climber pulley to the rope like that set the eyes of my hitch cord on the back connection point, the furthest back most connect, furthest most, oh my god, the one back here. <laughs> um, and so now that you've done that, I'm going to pretend I'm, it's connected to my harness here because I want to make sure it's in the camera, it's view of the camera. Um, so here, now, um, it's so much easier to slack tend because I have that mechanical advantage. Um, and then I can just do that. And if this is on, you know, my hip, all I have to do to, you know, take in more slack is feed it in like that. So that's a really, uh, useful setup and if you are doing um, you know recreational climbing the same concept you can actually you would just hook it up to you know your belay loop or your bridge and then because of the extra holes here you can just connect to the top here and there you have it it's a perfect system this here also would be how you would climb a double rope so if you know this is exactly what this is it's a double rope setup um, and doing this without a pulley just like I showed you with, you know, the work positioning situation is next to impossible. Um, unless you use, you know, more like a 
prusik type, like a Schwabish or some other more compact hitch with less sit back. Um, sit back is you see how the it compresses. So every time you go up a few inches, then you lose a few inches. Um, so the way we would mitigate that and make the pulley more efficient is by tying a different hitch. And here I'll just show you. Um, so now I have Schwabish and now So, I mean, there's still gonna be a little bit of sit back. Um, this hitch cord is longer than I anticipated. Uh, but you get the point. You can um, increase the amount of wraps if you need to, to get rid of that sit back. But you don't wanna, uh, it's really not the end of the world having that sit back. Um, it was just something I was bringing up. So now if I, Take this. So now there's really like very minimal sit back, but you know, you might have too much friction because of the uh, amount of wraps there. Anyways, that's how you can use uh, pulleys to increase your efficiency and efficacy and increase the, you know, just make it more fun and enjoyable to climb um, with the double rope and with your lanyard. So thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please consider hitting like. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please share them. And if you liked my material, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much. Bye.